Hello everyone and welcome back again for another video. What I'll be doing today is uh, giving this case of my daughter's a uh, little bit of an upgrade. Um, as you can see right now, it has uh, some of those Chinese uh, six pin fans in it. She's got, you know, two in the front here, a couple of them in there. So she's got, you know, a push pull going on on her radiator and a couple of them there. Um, and then she has a light strip that's connected to it and of course the GPU backplate. And uh, what I plan on doing is replacing all that with Corsair stuff. Uh, I got an adapter that I'm gonna use to uh, make this work too and be synchronized with it. And then I'm also gonna be using uh, some of this stuff. Leon Lee Strimers. Got the uh, 24 pin one here and I got the uh, Eight pin right there now um, this is made just for GPU but I'm gonna try doing something with that uh, EPS back there as well and uh, the, the thing about the strimers if we look at this right here it's a little thin on the wires compared to like a lot of other uh, cable extensions but Oh, excuse me cable mod to the rescue here uh this is an eps cable from uh cable mod it's the mod flex four plus four pin and uh it's it's just about the right thickness it might be a little bit thicker uh i don't think that's going to be too difficult to work with i'll probably have to just you know press down a little bit harder to get the uh little uh, spacers in there but uh, I, I think this might work and hopefully this will be long enough um, what I'm gonna attempt to do is kind of split this off so that one ends coming in to her graphics card the other ends going up to her EPS and I think since this is an ITX board it might work see that little gap there I, I think it'll work but uh, before I do all that um, I gotta tear it apart. Before I tear it apart, um, I need to test it. And the reason I wanna do that is uh, because I'm putting a uh, commander in it. Uh, this is the commander right here. And uh, this is a pretty big sucker too. Let me give you an idea how big a commander is and where you gotta put it. Well, we'll, we'll take a look at that when I get to the back. But, uh, um, what I want to do is plug in all my fan uh, RGB connectors to the commander, plug it into the uh, USB there, and uh, wire it up that way, and then pre-test it before I put in so I got my alignment right for my Pong effect. Uh, and then I'm going to mark on the uh, fans where they all need to go in the correct position, because what I'd like to do is Pong effect starting on this side, working up here, then going across here, then coming back down from there, finishing up there, and then going back the other way. That would probably be best for this little configuration. So uh, let me uh, cut here and we'll get back to the next scene. So moving right along, I have the commander hooked up right now. And as you can see, uh, in our lighting channel one LED, we have that going into the Corsair RGB hub for the fans. And uh, in our USB port, I got the uh, Asus cooler because that uses, takes a USB too. And that's what's nice about this commander is it's got two extra USB ports so that if you need to add something else to it, you absolutely can. So, uh, but anyways, the, the basics of the hookup of the commander when you're running six fans, uh, it goes just like that from the commander to the LED here into your RGB hub. Now, in the Corsair IQ software, you're gonna see the commander listed right there, the Commander Pro, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on that. And 
what we need to do first is go into our lighting setup. And under our lighting setup, we're going to choose what we got here. Lighting channel 1, lighting channel 2. Now, lighting channel 1 is what we plugged into, so we're going to take this drop down, and we're going to go and tell it there's an LL series fan in there. And then we're going to tell it that six fans are connected. And what did I do? Unplug something here? It's not working. <laughs> I unplugged something. I, we should be seeing something. Uh, hold on. Technical difficulties. Okay, I'm brain dead. It wasn't disconnected. I just forgot to turn them on. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to tell it that we have six fans connected here. And here on our light strip, uh, it's set to one strip. I set it to our RGB light strip. I'm going to be adding that. I'm going to tell it three strips are connected for now. But anyways, now if we go up to lighting channel one, that's where we can choose our effects. And uh, I'm gonna click add here, the little plus button, and you're gonna see all the fans kick on and it's gonna go to the uh, rainbow effect right away. Now what I'm going to do here to show you this is I'm gonna change this effect to the uh, Pong effect. And I'm going to slow it down, and I'm going to do some static colors here. But um, if we can back up here so you can see that. Now, you notice the fan orientation matches what you should be seeing on the screen. Um, that's what you want to kind of align yourself by and go by when you're going to hook these up in here. That way you know which direction you need to go. Uh, where the fans need to be orientated. So, on the tops of these fans, here, let's, let's flip this around. You can see the label right there, the Corsair label up, and the uh, wire off to the right. So, always remember that. Corsair label up, wire off to the right. On the top, there should be some arrows. And this will, of course, show you the fan direction and... Uh, will help you out with your orientation. If you need to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, take yourself some, uh, you know, masking tape, some painter's tape, just, just some kind of tape that you can write on and, uh, you know, get yourself an ink pen or a Sharpie or whatever. Mark them individually if you need to. If you need to, put a little mark on there so you know where your top and bottom are going, going to be. Uh, that'll really help you with the orientation of these fans when you go to put them in here. So uh, now that we got our orientation down, I'm going to uh, mark on here where I want to go with it, and then uh, we can finally start uh, gutting this thing out and uh, taking a look at the rest of the stuff, and then we can start with the fans. And I'll start with the two radiator fans first. That way we can do some initial testing as we go along, and... Uh, and then we'll add the other stuff to it, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, to show you how I've progressed so far, um, I got the fans in now, and they're running in the Pong effect, and you can see that going on the screen there. You can see how it moves up across there, down there, and then uh, into the back there. Oops. I'll get it up there. There, there, and there. And that's what we should be able to do is follow a nice little line back and forth. So now that we got those in there like that, we know that the position of our fans is correct. So we can go ahead and uh, do different effects now if we want. And, and uh, we don't have to worry about it being set up right. Oh. We'll go up to it and just go take it back to Rainbow Wave by default. Okay, so next part is to uh, put the strimers in on the uh, GPU, the power, and the uh, back part. So we'll see how that goes. So we'll cut here and we'll go to the next scene. Okay, to show you how I've gotten by so far. Uh, the strimers are in at least now, and uh, so that's looking good. Couple more things to do now, and then I can finish up this thing. Uh, I'm, I, I need to adjust this a little bit. A uh, little too short there. I need to pull some more in. Um, 
it was kind of a bitch there getting that on that EPS and uh, on there too. But uh, it worked out okay. I had to do the pull the EPS uh, one through first, hook that up first because I need a little extra length to get in there to do that, and then pulled that back out and then ran it in through the side there on the uh, side of the ITX board to get the uh, eight pin for the GPU in there. So uh, that looks pretty good. Now I wish Leon Lee, when they made these Strimers, they'd make them for uh, GPUs as well. Or else uh, make them separate, because they're all like one thing, like eight little uh, strips like this all together as one. So you have to split them four and four to uh, do what I did there, but it's looking pretty good so far. So uh, a little more work to do and I'll come back. So here's the completed project. Well, almost completed project. I'd run into a little trouble along the way, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, but what you're seeing is the Strimers on the 24 pin, on her GPU, and even on the EPS. Now what's nice is this is a uh, ITX board. So I ran everything in the back and I was able to actually split up the Strimers to do that effect on both the EPS and the GPU at the same time. So that was pretty cool. But uh, you'll see like uh, her, her uh, GPU cover there is, is uh, synchronized with everything. And uh, that's actually what I was looking for is, is full synchronization of everything on here. Uh, yeah, she's got the commander running on it right now instead of the uh, plain old uh, things from her, the, the, the Chinese six pin bullshit. Now you'll notice that it's not displaying her little uh, toadette animation on the uh, Asus uh, Republic of Gamers uh, Ryu thing. And that's because I actually tried updating it to the uh, armory crate shit that Asus is using now. And that actually fucked up everything. And now it's not displaying. So that's something that's uh, a problem with Asus that I got to get sorted out. And from what I can tell, <laughs> what I'm going to have to do is maybe do a clean install of her operating system. And uh, I, I really don't want to do that, but uh, I told her prepare for it. I might just have to do that. So she actually has everything backed up on her uh, drive up there, and she's actually ready for it. Um, but if we look at her rest of her stuff, actually, she's not home right now. It's uh, She's at work, and it's dark out, so we can look at her stuff in the dark and see how pretty it is. Uh, you can see her mouse pad and her keyboard, and, of course all three of her screens and uh everything so yeah she's she's got a pretty little badass setup here i mean i'm kind of jealous i mean i got an all right setup myself but damn you know and, and if you're wondering you know where i get the money for bullshit like this like god this is some pretty expensive stuff actually um i don't uh kayla paid for this herself. Kayla has, uh, autism. Uh, she loves to draw. Uh, but I mean, I mean, she works, you know, she's got her own job. I mean, she doesn't get very many hours in, but she saves, uh, all her money. Cause I like, I like to tell her like, she's a, like a fucking Jew or something, you know, she'll, she'll save and save and save. But when, when she needs things, I mean, and she'll actually spend the money and invest it and, uh, she'll upgrade her stuff as she sees fit. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, she makes a, you know, a couple hundred a week, you know, and she lives here at home and, and she, I, I make her contribute her fair share, but you know what she contributes for herself, uh, she actually buys some pretty badass shit. So she, <laughs> I'm actually kind of jealous of her. She's actually able to save more money than I can, but that's all right. You know, like I said, you know, she has autism and what I've taught her through the years is, uh, to save her money. I mean, she doesn't get disability like my son does, but she does have a, a, a kind of a disability and, and, uh, but I've taught her to save and save and save. And I want her to save since she doesn't get disability, um, until I'm gone because, uh, 
Well, the house that I live in, it's actually kind of a smaller house compared to what I used to live in. I actually downgraded in my life. And I bought this smaller house for Kayla and Sean because they both are special needs kids. And uh, this is going to be their home. And, and uh, I want them to make it the way they make it. They want to have it. And, uh, yeah, so they, they, they pretty much will buy what they want. So they make the investment themselves into the, uh, upgrades that you might see, you know, so don't think that I'm some kind of like rich person because I'm not, this actually was paid for 100% by my daughter to do this upgrade. Now, the reason we didn't do the, uh, Corsair stuff originally when I did this, um, upgrade on hers is because it wasn't really in her budget at the time. And, uh, well, she had seen what I have done with Corsair, like with on her brothers and on mine and stuff. And so she decided, you know, yeah, I want to invest to do the uh, Corsair upgrade myself. So uh, that's what she did. And uh, I think that's pretty badass. Let's let's look at that again. Let me back that off so you can see that. Uh, again, the uh, the Asus uh, Republic of Gamers uh, Ryu uh, 240 isn't working the way it's supposed to, but I'll get that sorted out for her, and we'll get that little toe dead animation that you've seen in the original video of this case going. But uh, otherwise, everything else is 100% uh, synchronized with uh, Corsair in there. Uh, it's running nice and quiet. This is a beautiful little system here. Uh, I'm not going to turn on the light to show you because, you know, if you've looked at the other videos, you already know what this thing looks like. But uh, now you're seeing what the RGB looks like uh, in its completed form. So, uh, yeah, this is a nice little setup she's got going on here. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Awesome. I, I can't say much more. Kayla's a good kid. I mean, you know, special needs kids, um, I guess in conclusion here are, are awesome. Uh, if, if you're a, a parent that raises a special needs kid, uh, be proud because you've got one of the greatest kids in the world. I mean, they're not like other teenagers where the sass back you get is just rude sarcastic mean vulgar bullshit i mean she'll sass back like i said you know she's got the autism it's kind of on the asperger's uh spectrum uh so she can kind of tend to freak out at times about things but uh we love the hell out of her and uh she knows what she likes um when it comes to the RGB and when it comes to the computer and she knows what keeps her mind occupied and, uh, she's a great kid. And I think she's got one of the most spectacular setups in the world. Um, I'm actually kind of jealous of it myself. Um, love her mouse pad. I might want to get one for myself. Even it's awesome. Look at this, this, uh, Corsair Polaris uh, pad. That's badass, man. Totally. And yeah, what's cool is like on this pol on this Corsair stuff is you can like synchronize everything together. You know the the keyboard, the mouse pad, the mouse, even the everything. That's just badass. And this is uh, a great example of uh, a, a kick-ass RGB setup in a uh, cool case. So that's the conclusion of this uh, shit that you've been watching here for the last however many minutes. So uh, I'll see you guys later, and I will see you in the next build. I got one coming up, uh, but my hours at work have changed, so my uh, brain's a little uh, distorted as of late. And... Uh, the timing on all my shit's kind of fucked up, but, uh, I'll, I'll see you guys later. I will see you in the next build. Uh, I'll have something kind of cool for you. If I ever get the time to get the goddamn thing done to show you, but, uh, I'll talk to you later guys and bye.